which is Beaten Off with Chili Head, coming to you today with the second in my line of three reviews for Evil Seed Hot Sauce Company. Today we've got an awesome looking sauce. This is the Evil Seed Signature Hot Sauce. Now I hope you can focus in on that, um, that bottle properly because um, it looks really, really awesome, but because it's so black and dark, it's quite hard to make anything out on it. The sauce inside is completely black. Totally, completely black as night. Black like my soul. And it looks absolutely awesome. Uh, so it says on the back, uh, standing firm in the fire, we here at Evil Seed Sauce Co. bring you our signature hot sauce, a unique blend of peppers and pain, fresh from the darkest corners of our evil minds. A dark, delicious treat for any meal, the Evil Seed Hot Sauce makes a statement that we all should live by. Live good, eat evil. This is from Evil Seed Sauce Company in Florida, and you can check them out at evilseedsources.com. And ingredients wise, we have water, lemon juice, jalapeno peppers, apple cider vinegar, distilled vinegar, red habanero peppers, agave syrup, garlic, onions, black food colouring, black pepper, and oh yes, it's got that gum in it, boy. Uh, so yeah, I mean, already we're kind of on a downward slope with this one, black food colouring. I was hoping that this colouring would have come from something cool like a mixture of, I don't know, soy sauce, molasses. I don't know, you can even put squid ink, in, in, squid ink into food, can't you? But um, unfortunately, it looks like it's got quite a lot of black food colouring in there. Uh, but never mind, we'll give it a fair shot, see what it's like. Uh, and as you can see, it is runny as hell. Um, as the uh, hell peach sauce was that I reviewed last time. Very, very watery in texture. I can see some things floating around in there, but because it's so black, it's hard to make anything out. Um, but yeah, that's really, really runny. Uh, but it does sound interesting. I mean, we've got garlic in there, onions, lemon juice. We should get a little bit of a sort of jalapeno and uh, habanero flavor, hopefully. A bit of heat uh, and, by the looks of it, quite a bit of vinegar as well. But anyway, give it a shake and see what it's like, shall we? Vinegar, onion, and not very much else. <laughs> That's what I'm getting from it. Maybe a bit of garlic in the background, maybe a bit of the peppers coming through, but on the whole, lots of vinegar and onion. I'm getting a bit of the, the habanero, florally kind of note coming through. Uh, it smells quite sharp, you know, from the vinegar. We shall see. Okay, let's uh, get a. I nearly had it upside down then, that wouldn't have gone well. Uh, okay, on the spoon, I have to be very careful pouring it because, like I say, it's really runny. It's kind of got this slightly syrupy texture as well, probably coming from the agave syrup that's in there. Looks like there's a few little bits of pulpy stuff coming out, but not too much. And like last time, I'm going to have to be very careful not to spill, so down the hatch. Mm. Wow. Ooh, that black pepper is really coming through. Much more than expected. That's a uh, second to last ingredient on there, apart from the xanthan gum. So I wasn't expecting it to come through as much, but the, the immediate flavour that I got straight away was that mouth warmth, spicy black pepper. And I'm, that's still lingering in the mouth. It's got a decent kick to it. Um, probably around the mid-range kind of level, maybe about a 5 out of 10. You can still have quite a lot of it, but it's definitely got a decent burn. It's going for the back of the throat and a nice sort of mouth warmth going on as well. Um, Flavour, apart from the black pepper, I'm definitely getting a sweetness from those onions. Quite a bit of vinegar. Um, on the whole, you know, it's not a bad sauce, but it is a vinegar style sauce, and that's pretty much all we're getting. The sweetness from the onions, the vinegar... And, uh, and that black pepper. Um, I'm trying to find that garlic, but I'm not really getting anything from that either at all, really. Um, maybe a bit of the lemon juice as well, but on the whole, like I say, vinegar and onion. Um, 
So, well, that's pretty much all I can say about it, to be honest, guys. Um, I was kind of hoping for a bit more from Evil Seed, to be fair. Um, the sources that they've they've got going on look and sound really interesting, but so far I've tried two and haven't really been that impressed. I mean, if I was to give it an overall rating out of 10, again, I'd probably go around the mid-level mark. I love the packaging that they put into it. I love the labelling and the artwork, but um, flavour-wise, um, they're very basic, kind of, you know, watery in texture, and um, heat-wise, this is warmer than the peach sauce, but still, it's not going to blow you away. Um, it's not worth, it, it, it's not bad, you know, you, you can give it a go, but unfortunately, not really impressing me all that much. Uh, so yeah, there you go. Evil Seeds Signature Hot Sauce. And I'll be back very soon once again, guys, with another review. See ya.